Have you ever heard of something called mirroring? It's a social phenomena where people mi mimic other people's posture or body language, even the words you speak. Maybe the next time you have a conversation with someone, you'll recognize this. And it's something we do subconsciously that we're not 100% aware of when we're doing it. And it usually occur, occurs around people we are most comfortable with, like our close friends and family. In Ephesians chapter 5, Paul is talking about following in God's example. He says that because you are beloved children of Christ, Christ has laid down his life for you, showing you the most perfect example of grace. That we are to walk in his love and walk in his way. One translation says, be imitators of God. And Paul warns us to steer clear of sexual immorality, any kind of impurity or even greed, because these things are improper for God's holy people. And he even says, don't fill your words with foolish talk. Don't have coarse joking, but replace these things with gratitude. For God's wrath comes to those who are disobedient. Therefore, do not be partners with any of these things. And I was thinking through this, it's on paper, it sounds kind of easy, but as we walk through life, we might know that sometimes this can be a challenge. And I was thinking through this, the temptations in our lives, the sin in our lives, it's sometimes it's because sin is easy and obedience and discipline, they take work. But as we know, as Christ leads us, that this work doesn't go without reward, that it is well worth it. But I think sometimes it can be easy for us to get into a routine of being around the things of God, but not actually being with God. And the difficult truth is that we can be around those who are on fire for God. We can feel his warmth and his goodness from them, but without actually being on fire for God. But if we want to be a church that is on fire for God, a church that wants God so deeply and so wholeheartedly, then we have to be a church that spends intimate time with Jesus. Because when we spend time with God, when we spend time with him one-on-one, -on -one, and we study his word, and we study his ways, we will become so well-versed in his ways, and we'll actually begin to mirror them, just like we do in social interactions with our close friends and family. Paul continues on in chapter 5 and says this, You are once living in darkness, but you are now light in the Lord. You are children of light who bear fruit of goodness, righteousness, and truth. What a great thing that is. The bottom line today to remember is the closer we draw to Christ and mirror his ways, the better we are at walking through the world without being affected by it, what is impure and unwholesome and ungodly. And as we do this, walking in God's way, we become more and more able to walk as Christ in this world. Because Paul knew that the world offered us nothing that is better than Christ's way.